All right, so today's message is God has handpicked the enemies part two. Um, I had shared a video um, about a year ago from yesterday from my memories, and I got a couple responses on it, and they wanted to know about part two. I'm not sure if I did part two. I probably did, but if not, I'm going to respond. Um, you know, we have to be sensitive to the spirit, and when people are hungry for the word, um, we have to feed them, you know. So, but the reason why I was explaining that is um, we look at Proverbs 16 and 7. It says, when the Lord's... When the Lord um, takes pleasure in anyone's ways, he causes their enemies to be at peace with them. So if God didn't handpick our enemies, then there would, there would be no need for that scripture. You know, um, we know enemies in the dictionary means anyone causing hatred in someone's life. So, we know, we know like opponent, adversary um, or anything like that. Matthew 5 and 11, it says, blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. So, um, even if it's not your enemy, they could be your enemy because of God. So we know that being as, um, you know, because we're following Christ, you know, that, um, you're going to encounter some enemies, you know, even some temporary ones, you know, like I was saying, you know, in a video, some of them could be temporary, you know, um, sometimes they could be family members. Sometimes they could be your spouse. Sometimes they can be your children. Sometimes it can be, um, you know, family or friends or anything like that. You know, sometimes it happens when sometimes, um, you know, when you do something unintentionally and it intentionally happens, you know, or anything like that, you know, when people take it the wrong way or anything like that as well, too. Um, First Peter 4 and 14, it says, If you are insulted for the name of Christ, you are blessed because the spirit of glory and of God restores, rests on you. So we know in the scripture it talks about you know, Jesus saying, you know, in John chapter 15, you can read, it talks about, um, you know, Jesus saying, apart from me, you can do nothing. So, you know, and when, you know, that's why you can see when even in a younger generation, when somebody is trying to do better, um, you know, people are upset or people are hating or anything like that. You know, that's what it talks about, you know, haters, you know, you're talking about people that are, are hating on you because you're, you're trying to do better. You know, nobody should get upset, you know, when you try to do better. I remember I was talking about, um, one video, you know, just talking about a female, um, when they talk about a female, you know, she's sleeping around with a whole bunch of people and everything. So they consider her a hoe or call her a hoe or whatever like that. And then, you know, people say like on Facebook, you know, hey, well, you know, they need to be better for their children or whatever like that. You know what I'm saying? So and let's just say all of a sudden she just starts to, you know, and it could be a male as well, too. You know, um, let's say they start to and then all of a sudden you have somebody that's like, you know, oh, well, she's still a hoe. How's she going to try to act right now or something like that? How's she going to try to act like she a saint? It's like, you know, that person becomes an enemy. You know what I'm saying? That person is, you know saying, hating on them and they're trying to better their life. Is that not better for their children that they stop, you know, um, doing those things, sleeping with multiple people? You know what I'm saying? But it's like sometimes people don't give other people a chance because that person feel like, oh, well, you know, they're, you know, I'm not a hoe, so I can sit there and talk about that person and know you got to be careful when you put your mouth on somebody. Um, <clears throat> you should be happy that they're doing better. That's what y'all was saying in the beginning, but people don't even understand that. Psalms 37 and 23, it says the steps of a good man. So now there's sometimes in the Bible where you can say a good man or a good woman, you know, and this is one here, are ordered by the Lord and he delighted in his way. So if God orders our steps then therefore he's handpicked our enemy so god knows exactly who to bring in front of us um so we can get you know more patience so we can gain patience so i was telling somebody you know that i was teaching and they were like you know i want more patience and i said you know what i said and i asked god and so they asked god for more patience and i said he's going to give you opportunities to gain patience and they was like what and it's like i wasn't i wasn't ready for it i was like well that's the only way god gives you patience you know so things were happening at the job and they were happening already but you know saying there were opportunities that now that they can see you know that you know there are opportunities to gain patience because god think about it i mean how do we determine what really bothers us and what really doesn't you know like um i know some people that have like road rage you know what I'm saying? So that's an opportunity to gain patience. You know, they can be a temporary enemy because they cut you off or they flicked you off or, you know what I'm saying? They made a, they're driving slow or whatever the case may be. Now, that really doesn't bother me, you know, but there's, you know, that's like a temporary enemy or anything like that. So, you know, the things that are, are pet peeves are 
things that we can gain the most patience out of, you know. And so God knows exactly who to bring in front of you to get those patients out of you. So I know I'm taking longer than my normal time, but I just wanted to do some some teaching. Um, in Matthew 5 and 44, it says, But I say unto you, love your enemies. So again, God has given us a commandment. Love your enemies. Bless them that curse you. And do good to them that hate you. So there's going to be people some hate you. People that hate you. And pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. So there are some people that are going to do it on purpose or despitefully lie on you. You know, use you or persecute you. You know, because you're you're following Christ or you want to hear something like this, there's going to be some type of persecution. There was persecution with, with Jesus, you know. I mean, he was perfect, you know. And everything he did, try to help people. So he healed the sick, you know. They said crucify him. He healed the blind. They said crucify him. He told, made people walk. They said crucify him. You know, um, people that had disease, you know, so they said crucify him. You know, people that he moved, uh, you know, removed demons from, they said crucify him. He even brought back the dead, you know, they said crucify him. Um, so, and even, you know, some one was on his own team <laughs> that happened to end up crucifying. But at the end, you know, he was just like he found out that he did the wrong thing. So, you know, I just wanted to say that, you know what I'm saying, God knows exactly who to bring in front of you, you know, to get you to get more peace because that is the best thing and how to, you know, gain patience. You know, James 1 and 3, it says that, you know, it says that um, the trying of patience works patience or it says that the trying of patience produces endurance or produces perseverance you know for you to continue going and you know it's easy i was telling somebody you know i was teaching to the younger kids it's easy to love somebody that's easy to be loved you know but what about those people that um it's hard to love us i'll give you an example let's say you do something for somebody um, and they say they're going to pay you back and they don't you know it's hard to love them or you know saying when you do multiple things for the person that you do all the time and you know every time every time they need you you don't send you there and then when you go do something for them they not there you know we look at temporary enemies you know that's how we get upset like oh i ain't gonna do it no more or anything like that but it's just learning how to love people you know what i'm saying but like i said it's all gonna work out to you good because it says you know genesis 15 and 20 you know what the enemy meant for evil you know even your temporary enemy it says God will cause for your good. So, you know, it's all going to work out regardless if you see it or not. So that's why we talked about God has handpicked your enemies. But, you know, saying with that, you know, God knows, knows exactly what he's doing. So he's trying to get the best out of you. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I was um, listening to a preacher. He was talking about, you know, when God squeezes the... Um, when we follow Christ, you know, when God squeezes us, that's when the anointing comes out, you know what I'm saying? Because God wants us to be able to love everybody, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to like them. All you got to do is love them. And you can love somebody from a distance. So um, so that's what it is. Um, but I just wanted to say, um, you know what I'm saying? I hope you caught that. Um, anything else, you know, you can comment on it. Um, and I'll, you know what I'm saying, speak about it or anything like that. So I am sensitive to the spirit. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, normally I have something else, but... You know, Holy Spirit said, just go ahead and do that. You know what I'm saying? Especially when people are hungry for the word, you know, you have to give it to them so you can feed them there and just let the Holy Spirit lead you. So um, I think I'm going to do uh, a Bible study. I'm going to start doing like a live Bible study on Facebook. I think I might start it tomorrow, um, Thursday. I might do it at like 6, like 6.30 or something, 6.30 or 7. Um, but I'm thinking about doing that. You know, people can ask questions and things like that because I know people have some questions and, you know, again, just being sensitive to the spirit. So I know we're coming up on nine minutes, but I just wanted to be obedient um, and hope this bless you or anything like that. So love y'all and God bless.